We have to assemble the Avengers first. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, guess what? What's up? <laughs> okay. I need your help, big time. What? It was Victor. He killed Nico. Did you call the police? I couldn't. I had evidence, but it got zapped when I tried to take it out of Nico's secret lab. <laughs> secret lab? Zapped? What? <laughs> I I'll explain later. I just need a way to get the video out without getting it ruined. You need to find a way to make a Faraday cage. That should get the drive out without wiping it. Get the drive out. I'll work on what to do next. Take this. It'll help. Oh, thank you. I was afraid she was going to just say, build a Faraday cage, and I would have no this idea how to do that. This box might be just what I need to build a Faraday mm. container. I'm this might work. I'm confused, though, because isn't this already, like, or scrambled? maybe it'll backfire and electrocute you. Maybe it just wiped what? it clean. Sorry, sorry. I'm just so happy we're going to bust him. And also really scared he'll catch us and kill us all. <laughs> I'm on a roll with Mr. Right <laughs> Ellie and I will gas up the snowmobiles and split up to double our chances of reaching help. Do not let him catch on. If he knows you're about to get the video out, he will kill you. Play it cool, Nancy. Bye. Later. Okay, that's a lot of pressure, but this is also such an amazing Nancy Drew dynamic with <laughs> suspects Suspects are in on it, but we're trapped in the building with the killer and we can't let him know we're on to him. This is just like Among Us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know who the imposter is. Victor's sus. <laughs> Victor was sus. Vote Victor. Yeah, vote Victor. Somebody call a meeting. Victor self-reported. <laughs> he really did. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I need to find okay. some foil first. I must foil. have seen some earlier. Where's the foil? I don't know. I can't do that I yet. Mean, tin foil is tin foil. There's got to be tin foil like in the pantry, maybe. Oh God, where's the foil? Is there a tin foil ball somewhere that we need to unravel? That sounds right, but Nikola Tesla. Oh, jeez, Louise. Where's the freaking tinfoil, guys? I'm, uh, I'm thinking. Maybe it's in Ryan's little workshop. Hmm. We should tell Mason. Could it be in Mason's? I don't know. I just want to tell Mason anyways. Oh, he's gone too. Oh, shit. Sorry, Mason, that's my parting gift. <laughs> I'm Did sure he appreciates shit? that. Guys, we need tin foil. Tin foil right now. <laughs> Our lives depend on it. It's annoying because I feel like I have seen tin foil somewhere. It's probably in here. Everything we ever need is in here. Coffee filters, duct tape. Oh. oh, spare USB drives. So you're right, it probably was fried. Yeah. Cat, give us the tinfoil. Where is it? The only suspect remaining here. Go kill him. I'm about to throw you through his security device. There shouldn't be any in here. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw the cat through the security device. Maybe the motorcycle? I don't think so. Who knows? It's simply illogical, Jameson. Take a hubcap. Mm. The lab has to. Alright, yeah, it probably is in the lab. Yeah, in the daytime. I don't need another board right now. Yeah. Maybe in the vents. Actually, what? We can go up here? I do you want to? No. Go wait, no, there could be tinfoil up there. You should at <laughs> least take a look to see if there's tinfoil right up there. <laughs> Get lost and die. <laughs> oh gosh. Maybe we can 3D print some tin foil. Actually, no, the filament is not tin. <sighs> oh man, don't. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe a candy wrapper. There's no way. I mean, it's possible. That wouldn't make Can we sense. try it? Try it. See if you can like get something out of there. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, but like... <laughs> it's not that. There's no way. Check the pantry. No, like, across from you. How is there not tinfoil here? Do we have to across smelt it? Across from you. Maybe the tinfoil is somewhere that we've been looking all game, but can't pick it up till now. Cabinet? Hmm. 
Eek. When the murder investigation comes down at ten foil. Go to nighttime. Talk to Ellie, maybe. Ellie and Gray. Ellie's Gray would like gone. to know. Oh yeah, but that's true. Gray would like to know what's going on. And it could be in his booth. That's true. Talking to Gray. What do you want? Oh boy. I think. I think Victor killed Nico. I love this. You have proof? Yes, but it got zapped coming out of Nico's lab. Find a way to get it and keep it safe. Wait, he seems to know I'll about take it. Care of Victor. Be fast. Oh, mega important dialogue. Yeah, this is this is the apex of the story. What's the real story between you and Nico? I was the smart one between the two of us. <laughs> he was just a scrawny kid with bad acne and a lisp who begged me to help him figure out his constants. We took off together, but the higher we rose in our studies, he got stronger. He wasn't a scrawny kid anymore. And me, I woke up one day and the floor wasn't there. Hmm. They said I was a burnout. It was worse than that. Well, you wouldn't understand. Try me. The way we think about everything is completely wrong. Even time is an illusion. It's nothing. It, it doesn't exist. I'm sure it does. Mm -hmm. Are you Nancy? You think it does, but it doesn't. We aren't even here. We're a 3D holographic <laughs> projection of a fixed point of high density information located far off in what we think of as deep space. That headspace, Damn. I got caught there. I couldn't function. From that day, Nico had my back. And when things got dangerous for him, I tried to watch his. Couldn't in the end. So that's actually really interesting. Mm-hmm. And it's so sad. He's not some failed career for any legal reason or something like that. He was not that he wasn't good enough. He glimpsed infinity and it was too much for him to comprehend. Mm-hmm. So And then he crashed and Nico was there to support him like he supported Nico in the beginning. Maybe time's just a concept of human perception. An illusion <laughs> created by <laughs> Now can you tell me what you were hiding earlier? Were you destroying something? Knowledge this world can't have. Ooh. Is that up to you to decide? Yes. What a beast. Science isn't moral or amoral. It just is. To get to where he needed to go, Nico discovered some things that are very dangerous. Like weapons? Discoveries with potential military application. Nico couldn't censor himself, but he didn't want to be another Nobel or Oppenheimer. He made mm -hmm. me promise if anything ever happened to him, I'd destroy everything that people would abuse. He trusted you to know the difference? And only me. If I don't finish here, Nico's work might end up doing a lot more harm than good. That's amazing. Yeah. If it's so important, what would have happened if you had both died? There was a contingency we considered, and thankfully did not have to enact. Whoa, whoa is that? Whoa, what? Does the whole lab burn down if both of their hot hearts stop beating? Is there like a doomsday device? And that's this? interesting. That's, yeah, that's really, really cool. I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah. Dude, they've, they've probably rigged the place to, like, meltdown or blow or Just something. Just kill everybody? Like, actually. I'm not even kidding. They would do that. Can't do this now. In an alternate universe, they're the murderers. What's well, What's interesting is that he didn't... He wasn't surprised by Nico's lab. No, he wasn't. He must... Maybe that's his house. <laughs> yeah, maybe he sleeps down there. Why is this... Why well, I feel like this is the first time I've seen this screen. I think this is where we saw the beaker originally. Where the hell's the tinfoil? Yeah, this is actually getting bad. It's not on the left side of the glass, is it? Nancy, Nancy said she's seen it somewhere, right? Those are her words? Her words. I mean, it can't possibly be in Nico's lab, right? It could be. Did we search there? I don't think so. No, not recently. I'm trying to think of logical places that you would find tinfoil. I know. Not the lab. We're also just gonna wipe the hard drive we just got. <laughs> That's true. Actually, no, because I don't think it has any charge to it at the moment. The maybe, tin foil stash is kept. <laughs> maybe it is in the duct. It just, could be like part of the insulation. I refuse to believe that. Check the duct. Just, it's not gonna hurt you. I should leave it in the USB port until I can figure out how to get past Nico's security door. That's a good idea, Nancy. If it's actually in there, I'm gonna lose my mind. But it's interesting because I didn't think we'd be able to get back in there, you know? 
Yeah. And don't, I feel... for don't forget that Mylar is used as an insulin a lot. That sort of thing. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Tin foil and like ch like Chuck's space blanket from Better Call Saul. There's no way, right? It's pretty hot in here. I'd better find my way out as quickly as possible. No, I, just turn back. Just turn back. I was wrong. I was wrong. Yeah, I was gonna say. That would be preposterous. Just, just look around all these screens very carefully. The wrapper! That's what oh it was. Oh my god. The empty wrapper was tinfoil. Oh, wow. Okay. That could have taken us hours to figure out if we it didn't. It really could have. Especially because we already tried the silicon wafer once. Uh -huh. Time to make a portable Faraday cage. Hope this works. Okay, I think there's a book somewhere that teaches us how to do this, but we're just going to do it this way. I don't think it's time for that yet. Components well, we're, first. We're just... No. It's too soon for that. Okay. The this box should keep the drive safe. All right. Ha ha. Wait, what are the components for? <laughs> I think maybe she just knows we're going to need them. <laughs> All right. Well, Gray, Gray is gonna. Keep... Gray said he'll handle Victor. <laughs> he did say that. Yeah, he did. Okay. I need to transfer the video to this yeah. drive oh, before I, I see. unplug it. I see. What a weird okay, ass computer. It's transferred. He has a play a All pause right. button. I just might be able to get this through the door safely. An audio oh, input. Man. Dude, I'm getting like nervous. Like yeah. if this were real life, I'd be so terrified. This is uh not good. Ooh. Too bad you can do that for Nancy's phone. Okay. Go. Go. Okay. Dude, I'm so nervous. Holy shit! <laughs> Gray, what happened? Gray! Can we just leave? Well, I mean, we <laughs> can, but like... <laughs> That's terrible. Gray, what happened? Gray, wake up! Oh my god, he's napping. Are you okay? I... Big brain. What if we just leave through the vents? Whoa. Wait, actually? Try it. It's stuck. Uh, na I are know it's serious? not stuck. It's stuck. There's no way it's stuck. Are you stuck? You're lying to us, Nancy. <laughs> can you imagine that? You're actually lying. <laughs> Oh my god, so Victor presumably did this. Is he dead? Are you okay? He could be dead. Jesus. Maybe he just slipped. We don't know that Victor did anything. And I think it's kind oh of unfair god. of you to assume that of Victor. Or he could just be sleeping. He could be sleeping. <laughs> he may have had too much to drink. Dude, Victor's a madman. Oh my god. Oh, it's Heisenberg. Oh, oh no. Oh no, the Elliot Chen. Not the Elliot Chen. You're awake. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Oh god. Victor! Why are you doing this? Oh no. Stay out of the lab. Why did he put us that in here though? Thing I asked you to do, good, good and you point. couldn't. We'd run out if he didn't. You see, Nancy, I knew Nico had something hidden in here. I just couldn't find it. Which is why I asked you to stay out. You got away with murder. Why not make a break for it? Why the elaborate plan? Murder investigations don't just go away. Someone had to take the fall, Nancy. Mm. You were supposed to give Actually, someone a push. That friend of yours sold you short. That's why you're here. <laughs> you were supposed mm -hmm. to drum up enough evidence to get Ryan away. <laughs> That's so funny. But he no, hired us because he thought we were a shit detective. That then I handed you Ellie and Mason. <laughs> handed them to you on a big silver platter that said, Look how guilty these two are. You knocked me out and then planted the key card. That should have sealed the deal, but you couldn't leave it alone. I guess I should be this congratulating music. you for being so sharp. It really is a shame I have to kill you instead. Oh, damn. Goodbye, Nancy Drew. Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's a last long against I the hate that noise. I need to find a way to get out without getting electrocuted. Okay, we have to make a circuit. Open the door. I bet Ryan's electrical components will help here. Oh, no. Uh. uh this okay. must be the schematic for the circuit. All right, okay, I'm taking wait, a picture wait, of this. Wait, 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 we have gonna a book. Need, you gotta pull Electronics. out the book in a second. Let me just get a picture. Okay. So Hurry. There is a symbol for each of this, okay? Yeah, so we're I gonna know. start in the top left. Do, do the resistors. Do the resistors first. Resistors first, first okay. It resistors are the squigglies. The squigglies. The, the zigzags or the squigglies? The squigglies. Are you sure? No. There's the zigzags. It's the zigzags. Okay. They're, uh, they're these ones. They're yes. The ones that are falling. Where are they? There's one there, and then one right next to it. Before it's too late. Uh, Nancy, Captain okay. Obvious. There's a third one up here. Uh, another one down there, I think. What? Here? Right here. Here? 
It's this one. No, nope. it does not fit here. Okay, then below here? that. That must be it. It doesn't fit either! Okay, so Julian and I already recorded the Pepper's Punishment, and now we're having to deal with this thing, and I don't want to do two Pepper Punishments for one video. So there's going to be a consequence that's non-Peppers, but we are cheating this puzzle. This puzzle is unforgivably difficult on Senior Detective. I want to see how it differs in Junior. Yeah, I'm, I mean, this is the sort of thing where I'm going to put it on the screen so that the people at home can play along, but this is ridiculous. It's like if Thornton Hall's endgame clock puzzle didn't have that as a prior puzzle in the game and it just thrust it upon you as a timed challenge with no prior way to know how to do it dude junior detective is so much easier let me see junior okay hang on first i want to i want to just tell you like i'm <laughs> it's bad you're close but like we're still in the dark. Here. This is where the diode is supposed to go. And a fuse goes all the way up here, no idea why. And I think this one is a fuse too, if I'm not mistaken. And then is this the Guys, last? This should give me a chance to escape. That gave me such a headache. What are you doing? Now, Victor, I hope you don't do anything stupid. Just kidding, kill yourself. Oh, wait, no. And Victor, I didn't mean it! <laughs> yeah, what were you thinking there? Victor was rushed to the hospital. <laughs> He's dead. He's asleep. He's leaning against a metal railing in a room where an electric coil was just fired out. That is a dead man. bail until his trial. Word is he's willing to strike a plea deal for leniency. But I doubt there will be much to be found. Oh, look the at potential him. buyer Victor had been courting. <laughs> he still doesn't look much more alive. <laughs> That's it a funny picture. It was proven they had no idea about Victor's involvement in Nico's death. Regardless, they decided to cut funding for the lab immediately. Mm, I can hardly blame the investors them. were in on it. Mason snuck back into the lab the night after Victor's arrest and made off with a drive. Look at him! Yeah, what a sneakster. Research. I love this. Ray spent weeks chasing him down he until him he down. finally caught him trying to make a sale at the Technology so of funny. Tomorrow conference. Look at the conference after after a the showdown. <laughs> argument that sent the Technology of Tomorrow bloggers into a frenzy, the two reached an agreement. So Gray funny. promised all due credit would remain with Mason and Ellie, provided they assist him in finishing Nico's work. That, I'm sure they'll work great together. The argument titled Epic, Epic Dork, Dork Fight, Fight. was yep. posted online and went viral almost immediately. Within this is the social hours, media they use at Waverly. I really want to read those comments. Wishing to fund their new endeavor. Mason, oh on the God. other hand, was I've seen more brutal epic battles at my daughter's dance recitals. Have a profound affinity for the lost art of arguing. I would buy Ellie action figures at these guys. I would. That Mason I wanted would. her to assist with finishing up Nico's work. She agreed to stay on until the first publication is completed. So Ellie After had the most rational she plans on doing whatever ending. it takes yeah, to get back yeah. home. She's not sure what her next endeavor will be, but she's excited to make that decision alongside her family. I can't tell if there's some what deep theory to, to best her, friend, or if she's just Ray that simple. Almost immediately, for the first time since his breakdown, he decided to fully re-enter the world of science. What is that like? He took the lead on finishing on the, Nico's well. work and opening oh, the that majority is a, of the research up to the maybe public. Maybe some kind of scale. Some of the work he plans to destroy, as he promised. Although she had been exonerated. It wasn't until Ryan knew exactly what happened to Nico that she could begin to move on from what happened that night. She decided to stay with the team during the next research phase on the condition that she can personally address all safety issues before each experiment. Mm -hmm. More than anything, Nico wanted his oh, work to make the world a better place. Yeah. 
I'd like to think he'd be very proud to see the team working hard to prepare his work for public release. The fact that Nico Jovic's name will be known the world over, while Victor's won't, again proves what I always believed. Mm -hmm. The world fondly remembers those who always give, and soon forgets those who only take. Yeah. Can't wait to see you. It's a good closure. Love, Nancy. But here's an even better. Oh no, not again! <laughs> okay, but listen. Why did they choose to end it with that? Um, it was not the top two. I mean, oh wait, yeah, wait. it's got to be Hydrofloric. You're right. Pretty Kitty yeah. and Trivia Tamer. Woohoo! That's right. We didn't get the egg on this way, <laughs> dude. So this is like still one of my favorite games of all time. But that was stupid that on was Senior a Detective. Horrible ending. I could not believe that ending. Well, it just overall on Senior Detective, that game was difficult. I mean, there were. A lot of the puzzles throughout the meat of it were very fair, I thought, and I was happy to play them. There was nothing too difficult going on with those puzzles. I think the hardest it got for us was Ellie's phone, and that was because we struggled so much with just figuring out the rules to that puzzle, because it was very vague, mm -hmm. and we didn't realize that the lines on the side were of significance. If we figured that out, if we knew all the rules, then we would have been able to figure that out in five minutes flat. But even so, it was like such a drastic step up from Junior. Yeah. Like, more so than I can remember from junior to senior steps in other games. I'm it, sorry, master. Yeah, amateur to master. It was it was a leap in this one. Uh, we have a teaser now. Ooh, the classic. Spoopy. Around here, they say, it's a wicked place. Doesn't this have, like, an outdated jump scare in it? ago by a family who could remember. no longer take now the I'm endless nights when the restless spirits of the past... Oh, yeah. the grounds of Thornton Hall. This didn't make it into the final cut. Jessalyn Thornton dared return, only to vanish without a trace. I love it's those trees. It's up to me to save her from it's the ghost the, of Thornton Hall. The Braithwaite Plantation. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's something out here. That light on is so <laughs> creepy. Hello? Anybody here? Hey, that's a reference to the next game we're playing. <laughs> Damn. That looked like Harper. It did. So I was told that there was some more stuff in the credit. Maybe it's it's at the end of the credits, or like as an outtake thing, but I'm really interested to see it. Deadly Device. Um, you know, we really wanted to play this one next. We didn't even put it up to a poll. We decided that this was our next game. And boy, did we pay the price <laughs> in some regards. Um, wow. Yeah, that was, it was a lot of fun. I, like, the, just so many aspects of this game are incredible. It's very especially, unique. Especially the characters. It has no like, equal. Every single conversation in this game is, like, what I live for. It's so much fun. But I, the puzzles truly kicked our ass on Master. Yeah, um, I would say that this game has no equal just in terms of theme and puzzles. If I had to compare it to another game puzzle-wise, I don't even know what I'd say. Maybe Shadow at the Water's Edge? You even that, like that. That's kind of a stretch too. It was all. It felt very rewarding progressing through it. It was a lot of fun. I can imagine this would be a, a lot of fun hey, for the first time around. Maybe they're like one of their first games. And D Deidre added wonders to this game. She was so much fun. Yeah, dude. Progressed the plot a lot too. Quite a bit. Okay, hang on. We had some bonus content here. Oh, he has Whoa. a mullet in the prototype. Look at that. That is crazy. Why did you lose the mullet? Her and Mason looks so much younger. Man, he's got the hooded eyes. He looks about the same. He doesn't look suspicious. He looks like a Chad. <laughs> Nico. I like his ugly Christmas sweater. Science team assemble. Oh, I'm getting old world blues flashbacks. Gummy Bear Theater presents <laughs> Romeo. And I've never seen this. What am I looking Starring at? Bear one and bear two. It's oh, it's Ryan. Ryan. I just realized it's Ryan. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the East, and Juliet is a gummy bear. Powerful stuff. Our first sign was a little behind the times. That is the Technology worst name. Technology of today, tomorrow. Yeah. But he just glared. <laughs> what? Gummy Bear Theater presents The Deadly Device. 
How does Ryan know the title of the game? It's too meta. <laughs> I'm just a cubby bear. Oh my God. I have enough trouble with simple concepts. I'm blue. Ah! <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted. I heard about this early on. It's What's too that? meta. Deirdre, this is Victor. Your father gave me your number. Oh, yeah. You're calling about Nancy or something? I was considering taking her on as a detective. What are your impressions of her? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Stay away from her. She is a mess and a half. She supposedly solves all her cases or whatever, but that's not totally true. Most of the people she claims are guilty are totally <laughs> A little while back, she was even arrested. <laughs> that says about a person. Alibi throwback? you're some hotshot researcher, so I imagine you can afford better. Great. I'm glad I called you. <laughs> <laughs> She's a complete narcissist. She's grossly incompetent. She rushes to judgment. And no one really likes her. Spread the word. Well. Gummy Bear Theater presents... The tragic end of two oh gummy bears. Oh my god. What a great day to be a gummy bear. I hope no one eats us. Mm. Damn. A Homicide. tragic end. Oh my. I love that that's the premise as to how this game starts, is that Deirdre gave us a shit referral because she was trying to get back at us, and instead she put Nancy on one of her best adventures. That was a great reveal, and I actually hadn't picked up on it before this game. It was somebody who commented telling us that. Yeah, and it's a great piece of evidence against Victor, because um he says, oh, you came highly recommended. And then Nancy finds out that Deirdre was the one who recommended her, and Deirdre had nothing good to say, which just made it more suspicious. Why would Victor take on a detective that he was told was terrible? And it makes it even funnier than Victor's reactions when Nancy actually does a good job of exonerating Ryan and progressing the case. Mm -hmm. uh, he just gets progressively more frustrated with the more we're yeah. actually solving the case. Until he comes out there to handle it himself. Deadly device, you are a charmer, but you have your thorns, I will say. Mm -hmm. um, otherwise, thanks for watching so much, everybody. Julian and I already know what we're doing next. It's going to be another classic. A game that I will be surprised if we find real struggles with but i'm sure it'll find some way to beat us up oh in fact yeah i'm i'm certain it'll find ways to screw with us <laughs> and with that being said guys do not forget to vote for the one and only holt scotto and directly after this will be us suffering so enjoy yeah hope you enjoy <laughs> oh mr fulfers bit me as promised Bad idea, Central. Yeah, we've got two glasses of milk here and one pepper each for a puzzle that we really could have avoided with a little bit of common sense. God, I've never had this, Jamie. Guys. It's when you when you need the milk, don't drink it. You just hold your tongue in the milk. That is my best advice. Whatever. Whatever you... It's the... just not a good texture at all. It's not. It's dry. It's not supposed to be good. You want to chew it up and swallow it as fast as you can. Oh, I thought I was supposed to let it sit on my tongue. <sighs> mm. <coughs> okay, just one is not that bad. Although I have had to endure this before. I feel like my throat is clo closing. Yeah, you're going to have that. But hey, deadly device with just one spoiler isn't bad. Ugh! <coughs> <coughs> uh! The coffee makes it worse. Screw you, Ellie's phone. Ugh.